anything in our power to put public pressure on the administration to keep all the current eight firehouses open. We kindly ask Mayor Bloomberg for his support on this issue. Watching the rig. I haven't seen a report though. Mm -hmm. When am I going to see this? He comes here. I don't even know where he lives. He's been here as long as I've been here. He's a good kid. This past month, we've been faced with the possibility of moving to Manhattan. And my take on the whole thing is this the people here are just as important. Our life here in this neighborhood is just as important as. Um, the community, let's say, in the east side of Manhattan. What I want and what the guys who work in this company want is one thing, and the reality of the matter is if, if, if it's deemed that the need is more important uh, over there, then, then we'll end up going. There's a lot of unfinished business here that's left over from, from the 11th. We got the plaque dedication coming up, and everybody's doing their part. You know, we're just going to... Uh, we're going to do the best we can and, uh, you know, let the cards fall where they may. Well done. Nice job. These were uh, tools that um, the members of the company were carrying that day. And uh, it's pretty conclusive. And the way we know this for a fact is because if you look on the inside, you can see the raised letters, 252, two, right? And if you look at the condition of this uh, tool, this is pretty much the condition that it was when it was pulled from the, uh, the ground. The you know, significance to us is that this is the only tieback that we have to uh, some of our guys, you know? I mean, these, hand, these, you know, these tools were in their hands when they, when they perished. You know, so it means a lot to us, you know, and we're going to include these in the, uh, you know, in the plaque board downstairs. If we move, that goes with us. You know, I put it up there, I can pull it down. The captain of squad 252, Captain Edward Metcalf. You'll have to excuse me. Uh, my allergies to these flowers is acting up, and my eyes are a little teary here. Uh, it is an honor to be here this morning, just as it was an honor to work, live, and play with these men that we honor here this morning. They all gave us a piece of the puzzle of life with their special talents and their diverse personalities. And they strengthen us each and every day. I can feel their touch here today in this room. I hear their laughter and I see their smiles. I can feel them and hear them and touch them because of you. You live the words courage and leadership each and every day. We thank you for the love that you possess. May we somehow return a small portion of that love to you. We thank you for the strength that you display. May we somehow add to that strength. May God bless you, the families, and may God bless America. On that fateful day, they had rescued numerous civilians who were trapped in an elevator. These people are alive today because of the actions of the men of Squad 252. It said that greater love have no man than to give the life for, for the life of his brother. These men were my friends, my brothers, and my heroes. And this is our tribute to them.
you look on the plaque board, the lower plaque on the board has a quote on it from a, a play by William Shakespeare. And uh, in this one scene, King Henry V is on a hilltop addressing his troops before they go into battle. And, and I quote, from this day to the end of the world, we in it should be remembered. We lucky few, we band of brothers. Gentlemen, take your seats. Gentlemen, everybody who wears this uniform has been in your seat. Thousands of guys have been here before you. We've all been through it. What you're not understanding is just how big a commitment that this is going to be in your life. This is a huge commitment. You got to really want this job more than anything else in the whole world. You got to want to be a fireman. When you get that diploma that day, it's not something that they hand off to you. It's in here, bro. It's in here. And you got to make it come out. One day, you will be old, you will be frail, and you will be slow. And someone will ask you, what did you do in your day? What did you do in your prime? When you were young and strong, and fans. And you'll tell them you're a New York City fireman. And when the day is done and the page is turned, that will be enough. How am I smart? Yes, sir! You want this job? Yes!